from now on. From this point forward, forever and ever. Okay, so this is the newest Subnautica update, and it's called the Prawn Update. And the problem is my old save file might not work. So it says here you can play this. There's new caves, regions, and landmarks. Um, if you choose to keep playing the saved game, it will be upgraded. But the upgrade may fuck things up a little bit. So... It works. Some people say it works, actually. But let's uh, let's give it a shot. I think there was a few new areas added to this big ship, and that's like one of the main things that uh, doesn't work when you just load your save file. I read a few things. I read a few people that said it worked. Some people said it didn't work. Oh, I'm not doing a new game. There's no way I could do a new game of this. I would get too bored. But yeah, the main update is um, the interior of the Aurora has been completely reworked. There's also the um, the mech suit. That's the big one. And the reason I wouldn't actually do this um, with a new game is there's just not enough new shit. Like, if I stopped playing this now, and came back to it a year later, it would be a good new game. But this is still too soon. Um, I'm not really too... I'm not into the survival genre enough to want to start new games of, of this kind of stuff all the time. Which is one of the reasons I lose my interest in Rust every time there's a server wipe. Equipped and capturing body moisture to chemically neutralize residual odors in bodily fluids before re-ingestion. Please press the activation button in the next three seconds. You have chosen not to activate chemical taste neutralization. Thank you and have a nice day. Yes, piss. Double balls. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that now. All right, so Subnautica. Um, okay, where the fuck am I? I have to figure out where I am. I have to figure out everything. Um, it's been a few weeks, I think, since I played this. Okay, eat some fruit. Um, I'll definitely have a more substantial Subnautica stream sometime after this. This is consider this an introduction to this update, since roller coasters took priority apparently. Um, okay, so fabricator. Wonder if they fix the scan room. That was kind of a problem for a while. There's now chunks of materials. That's another new thing. Alright, so we're gonna head back to the base and find out how to make one of those suits. Cyclops cameras have lights. And the lava biomes are now in the game. Yeah, I heard about that. Um, let's see. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was really... I was really concerned about the lights on this thing. That's, that's fucking great. That is an excellent addition to the Cyclops. It just gets so goddamn dark. P. 
people in, in chat are saying I have low power. Y you guys have... Like, extensive... Extensive... Problems... With people playing the game the way they want to. <laughs> if I- if you think I have low power... I have... Um... This is true. Alright, so what? I'm getting my Cyclops stuck. So what? I'm gonna- I'm gonna beach my ship. It's fine. That's the point. The point is to have fun and to lose your Cyclops. There you go. Perfect. Look at those maneuvers. Oh, fuck yeah. Those, that's good maneuvers. I wonder how they handled the problem of the, the water. Hang on a second. I'm kind of curious. Is it just, like... Because if you, if you go water level, like, say, right here, I guess the game doesn't want you to be there for too long, so it just kind of floats you to the top or the bottom. Never mind. Sorry, just kind of curious. Um, anyway, yeah, I have plenty of power. That's what I'm trying to say. I got sidetracked. I have, I have so much power that you guys, you would, you would be, your houses, your, your fucking, your magic wands from Hitachi to vibrate on your clitoris would would take it would last years that's how much power i have in the cyclops years of clitoris stimulation it's just they see the number decreasing a little bit and they want me to like change the battery well i have news for you i have news for you then that's it right there Fuck was that noise? I'll tell you what, since I am a kind and loving streamer. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous thing I've said in a very long time. I will replace the goddamn batteries just for you. Oh shit, I only have 1199 power. That, that's unacceptable, I'm sorry, that is unacceptable. Last time I checked, I had a vehicle building station, like, somewhere up here. That shit's gone now. I think it floated away. I think it's gone. I think it's just- it's, it's gone. That sucks. 
All right, well, the exosuit isn't going to be working out. Unless I build one of those, I would imagine. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, wow. I thought that got wiped the last update. I dragged it away with the Cyclops. Oh. I just saw like a time and space distortion like in the movie Interstellar. Just in my base. Jen has informed me that, that the Hitachi magic wand does not in fact use batteries, but instead is plugged into your wall outlet, which means according to Jen, clitoris stimulation is internal, like just infinite. So this is good information. You did it to yourself, Jen. If if the creeps start messaging you in droves, and let's just let's just say it wasn't my fault. But you may want to preemptively call nine one one. Titanium lubricant power cell. That's what I need. Internal, yes, the, the, the clitoris simulation is internal. build another one of these things. I, that's, that's kind of the last thing I want to do right now is build another fucking mobile vehicle bay. You know what? I don't I don't want to do that at all. So welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Systems online. Uh, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to I'm going to find it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, always sounds like it's breaking. I'm going to find it. God damn it, if it's the last thing I do, that mobile vehicle thing will be found. S saw it? Where'd you see it? Where, 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 where? East towards big ship. Where? You don't you don't mean this, do you? Cause that's not that's not it. That's that's definitely not it right there. I think they thought this was it. stand on these coral tubes if possible like above the waves that would be really really good that would help okay oh shit <laughs> all right I'm looking for it. Uh, no. Oh, that water looks really good. Thought I saw something glowing. 
It's really, really small, this thing, so it's, it's, it's gonna be hard to see, but I th thought I saw something. Oh, no, that was just the top of my fucking submarine. Never mind. Look at the piss-stained coral and call Otacon. Sounds good. Use the camera on top of the sub. Maybe. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe fuck yourself. <laughs> Still my favorite line from the Departed movie. Alright, um, I've given up all hope. All hope is lost. Piss on the corpse, fuck the cor- fuck the corpse as well. Alright mate, what are you doing, Carl? I'm just gonna- oh wow, that's still going. Months later and that fucking thing is still burning. I don't even care, I'm just gonna fucking just build another one. Whatever. Chat says, Exup, Exusart, Soup, is in the Aurora. Yes, that was me having a stroke. So this is a very, this is a very wet game. I don't know if you've noticed, it just feels very wet. This water. Okay. I'm gonna go to the Aurora. And I'm going to get what I need. Why not spawn one in? I could. I could be a cheap fuck. I mean, even though we've done this so many times. Wow, that was very loud. That was a very loud crash. So... The Aurora houses... The, um... The Exo Soup. So we're gonna go there. And get the Exo Soup. Okay. Actually, while I'm while I'm here. The music just randomly stopped like that. That's not cool. What's this? Acid mushroom that I dropped. I dropped that there like ages ago. Still floating. Did you guys see the picture of the dress? That there's some artist that put a dress in um in the Dead Sea. I believe it was. And, um, left it there for a long ass time. And... Two years, I believe, and then it got coated in salt. I'm really tired tonight, by the way. I don't know if you can tell. You can definitely tell. Started out strong, folks. Ended on a whimper. Uh, I, uh... I saw this picture, it was good, it was a dress, it was turned into salt. Yeah, it was kind of viral on the internet today, so I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. It's just from this game reminded me of it quite a bit. and storage. Alright, great. So we got that. That's that's another component. I'm gonna head over to the Aurora. Save before 
All right. Um, you know, I was worried about the Aurora. I heard that 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 was the one, like, or one of one of the few areas in this update that you can't access. Also, I forgot about this camera. This this camera would probably, you know, if I searched around a bit. I could probably find that fucking thing using this camera angle. This is a good one. Um, also, burbs. I see some burbs in the distance. You can just barely make out the outline. There it is. I found it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you can just barely make out, like, some clouds in the distance. That's actually an island. But, yeah, there it is, guys. Look. Randomly found the fucking thing. So it's here, wherever here is. Okay, so I don't have anything. I don't have any of the required components. Cyclops isn't even, or the, the exosuit isn't even listed. So, I really need to get some ing uh, ingredients or blueprints, if you will. Push it back to base. Well, I think I kind of know where it is now. But, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna dead. I think I just destroyed it. Where the fuck is it? Oh, it was, <laughs> it was stuck on my... on the back of my sub. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I think I've gone too far. It's, um... I'm flying. Why am I able to- am I glitched? Oh no, it's just a fucking massive ship. That's all. Alright, so it's a little bit easier to find now. So the Aurora is where the exosuit is. Where the blueprints is. I wonder how many fish I'm killing. I really like the ocean. Yep. That's about as good as you're going to get, in terms of commentary tonight. Do you like the ocean? <laughs> so I have to enter the Aurora from the front? This is the back. This is not the front. So what should I do? It does look different. I stuck on something again. Yeah. There's a reaper nearby. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. <clears throat> and I'm being told I have to go to the front. Left front. Just trying to 
navigate through these areas here. I just really just tried to brute force my way through and it, it nothing is working. I'm just I'm just murdering fish. Yeah, it's it's kinda there's some what the fuck. Oh, that's good. Okay. Oh, I've really got myself- I've really done fucked myself now! I'm just Death Stranding. That's all. I want to. I want to be like one of Hijo Kojima's whales. Don't you just love those crunchy crash noises so much? I'm gonna try to stay a little bit more away. It's uh, yeah, yeah. Those are mining spots for the exosuit. Those things are massive. Like the deposits that you see. If you see like a giant deposit of salt or, um, well, I mean, if it's a giant deposit of salt, you can guarantee that shit came from me after Mario Kart 8. But if you see like quartz in a giant cluster, I think that's meant for the exosuit. I stop paying attention for two seconds and I'm already in a wall. There we go. Go that way. Yeah, really, it's just you don't want to get too close to this thing, so I'm just gonna not get too close to this thing anymore. I think that's a good enough spot for my Cyclops. Sea Moth will take me the rest of the way. So enter from the front left. That's kind of about here. I do have torpedoes if something decides to fuck with me. But I'll probably miss. So, um, so, what the fuck, what's different? Should I be going inside the ship? Should I get out of this? Pretty fucking good shit up here. This is this is really good if you need to just raid for batteries and materials and shit. 
ship has a new area called Prawn Bay that houses the materials you need. Oh. Oh, so the, there's actually, I thought it was just the outside of the ship that was a little bit different. I didn't realize there's a whole internal area. Apparently I have to pick up a f uh, fire extinguisher. Do you think if I brush up against the ship in a vaguely sexual manner, I can get Dom DeLuise pregnant? Sorry, red leather, red leather media has been, um... It's been, like, leaking in my... <laughs> in my life lately. I've been watching... You should watch the, uh, the newest Red Letter Media video if you want to know about Dom DeLuise getting M-Preg. Um, yeah. It's a good, good discussion about movies, and, uh, I recommend it highly. It's from their new Best of the Worst, uh, video. The, the Plink- Plinketto machine? The Plinket machine? <laughs> So that was where I had to go, and I just fell through the, the floor there. So that sucks, because that was where I had to go, and uh, falling through the floor isn't, isn't preferable when you're trying to explore. If you try to explore, don't fall through the floor. That's my wisdom for today's stream. That's the fortune cookie that I've been like pressing together like you would say a diamond from coal in one's ass. Okay, we're doing- we're doing good, we're doing good. Haven't fallen yet. Okay, I got a fire extinguisher. I can understand why they wanted to add and rework the Aurora, because it's like this big... This big set piece. There's so much... Like... There's so much room for activities in here, and, and there wasn't before. And now it seems like there's gonna be some cool new activities. Also, this place is very unsettling, and it makes me uneasy, because... Fucking shit's falling from everywhere. There's crabs. Pulsion cannon frag fragment. Integrating new PDA data. Story. It, it's it's too late for me to ch to read the story. I'm not invested. Not that I need that, but... I'm sure the writing in the story is cool. Maybe one day. Maybe... 
Yeah. Maybe like um, like I said before, a year from now, that stream, that new game, a year from now, will be the one that it happens. Integrating new PDA data. Forty weeks before we get home. Four hundred weeks. It feels like before we get home. Um, credits. Prawn suit. Wow. There it is. It's like it was there all along. Prawn suit on land poster. <laughs> That's awesome. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, I'm gonna just do a quick scan of this because they, they've reorganized the log system. Um, it's hard to read this shit here because it keeps fucking vibrating. So never mind. Oh, look at this futuristic trash can. Ah, future trash. It seems like really, I don't know if there's a way to really improve upon trash technology at this point in time. Like, I feel like we've reached our, our limit as a species, like, you know, there's a long way to go for a lot of different technologies. We're still, like, in the infancy of so much shit. But when it comes to, like, like, trash receptacles, I think we've had that mastered for, for a little bit now. It's just, you know, a thing. You open it up, you put an object inside, like a used condom, or a de gross or de gross or um maybe maybe you'll put something like a banana peel which will stink your house up for like 4 days a real use for this gun. But I mean, really the the most like, okay, maybe you have like a self-sanitizing trash can in, in the distant future. Okay, so I need to find the code. Um, One, four, five, four. Okay, cool. Oh, they added a lot of cool shit. Someone said, what about like a, uh, a fucking like black hole that takes it to the trash dimension? Do you know how great it would be if we've discovered like the wormhole technology needed and we just like designate an entire dimension the trash dimension and from now until the end of our our race we just fucking like everyone has their own wormhole portal to go to the trash dimension and we just leave all our shit there and that's it you never have to worry about it who lives in this dimension? Who cares? It's not our responsibility. The problem for uh, is with this, it, the potential for abuse is really high. Because it's really easy to imagine someone like, like forcing, like, I don't know, their, their baby in there. That got dark real quick. But like, what about like a trash baby? Then it's good. If it's a trash baby, it's fine. But if it's not a trash baby, I wouldn't recommend it. So... That's my thoughts on that. And also, you know, what if someone like, I don't know, your the parents are out on a, you know, romantic night, um, and someone puts their little brother in the garbage bin. Well, they're in the trash dimension now. There, there's no coming back from the trash dimension. Once you're garbage, you're garbage for at least a few weeks. I would say even more. Oh. 
here's this spot. So there's a, a few people in chat saying that we are the trash dimension. Earth is the trash planet. Sometimes I'm inclined to agree with that. This nutrient block shit. I wonder what it tastes like. I had some flavorless fucking nutrient bars in my day that have really tasted like the straw man's jizz from the Wizard of Oz. Like, just, like, straw, or cardboard, or, you know, just... Oh. I don't regret that. There's a storeroom. Uh, well, what's, what's down here? Now, this is where I repaired the Aurora. So, I'm looking for the, the goddamn... Oh, 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 wait a minute, that door can be... ...opened... ...with a cutter. Do I have my cutter? I do, I have my laser cutter. can repair more of those holes in the other room. Okay, so let's get... I, I didn't realize this door was openable. Sometimes it's hard to tell. You know, the No Man's Sky thing kind of proved to me. I do get bored with survival games kind of quickly. Um, and as, as much as I love, as much as I love Subnautica, I get bored of this game too. It's great. It's got a lot of things, like, this is an early access game that is not $60, right? <laughs> what are you doing? What the fuck was that? This, anyway, this, this game is, is creepy. It's gives you this like really f like for me it gives me the feeling of exploration and and wonder but it also gives me this like knot in my stomach of like oh god what's around what's around the bend what what is that in the distance that's lurking in the distance like that I can't see what is that um it's a really 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 well done game it's there's detail everywhere and there is some form of objective. Like, one of the reasons people complain about No Man's Sky is because there's not a lot to, to do. This, you know, you're working towards a goal. You want to, like, it's still early access, so I'm sure there's going to be more goals in the future, but you want to build a Cyclops. You want to build an exosuit. You want to check out all the deepest regions. You want to find all the best equipment. You want to build your base, which is... I think No Man's Sky, I th uh, they claim that they're going to be adding base building. Um, now, I'm not, this is not f coming from a hype standpoint or they delivered lies to us standpoint. This is coming from, like, I played No Man's Sky for a few hours. Not enough to really get to know it, sure. But I also watched a lot of other people play it. I've watched reviews, I've watched streams, I've watched... A lot of things, because the game does interest me. But, um, the thing is... I never really felt... invested enough, or interested enough... in, in, in the world... in the universe, to want to keep going. Goals or no goals... And, and when I say no goals, I mean there weren't as many goals in the game... Like, there's, there's things to do. Definitely, there's, there's like, you know, you can 
upgrade your equipment and get new things. Like, so th they're similar. It's just, I feel like this game has just does it so much better. Which is a shame, because I really wanted No Man's Sky to be decent. Um, more than decent. I wanted it to be amazing. There was a, um... I think there was a round table. I'm not sure if it was game trailers or... I forget who. There was some, some round table a few years ago. And, um, everyone was saying how No Man's Sky was going to be this amazing, revolutionary thing. Except one dude who was questioning the vague premises and the lack of answers from Sean Murray. Um, the one dude on, on this round table was getting ridiculed for asking questions. Like, nah, you're just being a, a grump. You're being a grouch. You know, you're, uh... It's gonna be great. No Man's Sky is gonna be amazing. Don't, you know, don't talk shit. Don't talk shit. Obviously, they weren't saying those exact words, but the sentiment was similar. And, um... I just want to kind of from share my opinion about that in as rational a way as possible. But I, I hope we never get to a point where it's, it's not okay to question promises developers are making. Double, double music is happening right now. I, I really hope people have learned their lesson from this. Oh shit, look. It's the prawn. I, I really just think it's um, it's a good idea to, again, question promises. Like, wh what the fuck is Death Stranding? It's supposed to be a game, right? I mean, that, that I don't even know. Like, arguably, I don't know if it is a game. Like, I love Kojima, I really do, but I'm I am not 100% sure. I have any fucking idea what's going on in that trailer. Um. And also, I think there was some, like, claims that there would be, like, that you could do anything. So I watched some video recently that was analyzing it and um, analyzing claims that were made before Death Stranding was announced. And um, it was like, yeah, it's, it's like the gameplay allows you to do everything. It's like, what? What are you talking about? What does that mean? And again, I'm paraphrasing, and, and I, I apologize if I'm getting any details wrong. Um, I, I'm just kind of going based on memory, but I think it's just a good idea to... It's always a good idea to be skeptical and to let uh, developers work hard on earning our trust. Like CD Projekt Red, as far as I'm concerned, they earned my unconditional... See, now that's that's a bad word. Unconditional. See, I just did it. I, I made a mistake. It's... Unconditional is a bad word for trusting developers, I think. Look up on the ceiling. Okay. Hang on a second. Before I go do those, I'll scan them. Don't worry. I'm just going to check around a little bit. Just kind of wondering. Inventory full? Really? That was quick. Um, it's a lot of, I have fucking... A lot of batteries. See, oh, that's more nutrient blocks. Is that... I was going to say, is that like a fucking high C? Um, yeah, I will never, at the, I, I would hope that even someone like Kojima, I could still like say to myself, all right, well, I, I like the guy. I generally trust him and his sensibilities. Integrating new 
PDA data. But I would also very much like to know what in the name of Christ Death Stranding is about. And even CD Projekt Red, I think um, they're doing a sci-fi. Oh, that's that's a nice, that's a nice one. Um, they're doing a sci-fi game next, and and it's supposed to be very very ambitious. I forget the name of it. But something like that, like I I think they're a, an amazing developer. They're really generous. They're really really down to earth. They know generally how to win over gamers' trusts. But even even them. It's like, yeah, just be a little, be a little skeptical. You know, stop pre-ordering. Cyberpunk Blade Runner type game. And I'm all for that. I'm absolutely like, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm hyped. It's okay to be hyped, I think. <laughs> I don't mind being hyped. Hype is real. What is hype may never die. But I also just think that, uh, pre-ordering sucks. And leads to problems. Who's that picture of? It's like the first human face I've seen in this game, I think. Good items in here. Expect the worst and hope for the best. Yeah, I mean, I expected the worst with um, Metroid Prime Federation Force. And I gotta say, I've enjoyed that game. Every time I played that game, I had more and more enjoyment. Like, from the first time, I was like, eh. Then the second time, I was like, oh. And the third time, which is the one I streamed last, I was like, alright. See, there's different levels of excitement. All right is is the highest. That's as, that's as, that's about as high as I go in terms of excitement. I'm I'm not an overly animated person. <laughs> All right. The second one sounded like I got a finger stuck up my butt. It's like, "Oh!" Yeah, I don't like that one. That the second level of hype is is not my favorite, but that that one's I'd like I'd, I'd prefer to avoid that from this point forward. That would be great. Will I be streaming Pokemon Sun and Moon was a question I saw earlier. And, uh, yes. Pokemon Moon, I believe. I think... Oh. Yeah, Moon, I think, is the one I'm gonna go with, I'd say. So, someone in chat said that Hideo said that Death Stranding is going to be his best game yet. And I admire his confidence, and I, I've... I, I really like the dude, and I definitely will give him the benefit of the doubt. Absolutely. Um, confidence is good. Trusting in, in your abilities as a director, as a musician, whatever, is also good. So, I am, I give him some credit for that, but I also will not be pre-ordering it. And I would, I would very much like to see more of the game. And, you know, there's plenty of directors. Roger Corman probably thought, I'm like, 18 of his movies were his best work, you know, and Roger Corman fucking directed some of the schlockiest shit I've ever seen. 
So it's it yeah, you never know. It's just good to be it's good to be a little skeptical. Roger Corman has never lost money on a movie. Yeah, actually, that's the thing. Roger Corman knew how to make cheap, dirty, quick movies. Roger Corman is one of those amazing directors who made some really, like, schlocky fucking garbage. But he also, in the process, made some, like, pretty fun movies to watch. Like, the, the dude knew how to direct quick and he would, you know, just reliably bring money into the studio. And so they were, they were just like, yep. Keep whatever you need, Raj. You want to make a movie? We... Here's your money. James Cameron got his start under Corman too, yeah. I, I heard about that. Doesn't mean his movies were good. <laughs> to be f quite honest, a lot of his movies are fucking garbage. You know, quality over quantity. Birthday, 1806. It's birthdays. There's no six. Oh, there's no zero. Never mind. Two, two, one, one. Oh. So, what clue? What clue was there that that was 1869? Did I miss a PDA? I think I missed a PDA, guys. Someone in chat had to tell me. But I'm pretty positive. Oh, there it is. Integrating new PDA data. You know, I, I just don't feel like reading all this out loud. Um, this is one of those things I'd probably enjoy more if I just had a chance to read it on my own. 1869, 18 months later, six month construction, 9%. Wow. Is that really how 1869 just happened? Just, just finding random numbers in a PDA. I missed a bunch. Oh shit! All right, well they're they're a little hard to see. Integrating new PDA data. Good things in life are commodities. Buy and sell stock. Okay, their business. Cap. Great 
recap. Someone in chat just said, um, as tragic as No Man's Sky was, I think it served as a good lesson to gamers in the industry at large. I hope so. I hope so. Oh, cool. It's a toy. Um, yeah, I don't think the game in and of itself is, is even terrible. It's not. It's not a terrible game. And they're, they're fixing it and updating it and stuff. It just launched very poorly, and it doesn't have a lot of things, but... You know, this also launched kind of poorly, it's with, without a lot of things in it to do. And then updates were added over time, which is, you know, early access, love it or hate it. It's just that the difference is this wasn't masquerading as a fully featured, full priced item. This was exactly what it was. Integrating new PDA data. I think, um, I see people, like, when I stream No Man's Sky, or whenever I talk about it, there's people that will give me any... They will just give me shit. So hard. For even giving, like, any ounce of defense to the game. I return the game. I got a refund. I don't want to play that game. But you got to understand too like it's just a game. It's not it's not terrible. It just didn't deliver. I think people are just like kind of outrage junkies where it's it's just kind of fun. I, I even found myself I was like, "Yeah. Yeah, fuck that game. Fuck that strong guy. What a dick." I don't even know him. You know, I don't even really care. <laughs> Ultimately, it doesn't impact my life in the slightest. But I still felt it. Um, and that's why I feel like it's it's a good thing to learn from this No Man's Sky debacle. And try not to, to get too outraged. But also, just not get fucking hyped over every little thing. Like, goddamn. Not the first time this has happened, and it won't be the last, but I, I think, at the very least, we can reference... ...back a little bit, and say, well, remember how this turned out? Yeah, that wasn't so great, was it? Um... Anyway. This seems to be some kind of maze. Check, check around, Let's see what's going on. Um, the other re thing, the other reason I even brought up No Man's Sky, which I actually kind of forgot to tie my point in to all this, was that um, I like that this Aurora shit is is being added. This feels like like I'm I'm exploring with a purpose. You know, this this feels like there's are you getting some story? You're figuring out what happened to this thing. Um. I feel like this this kind of thing is is good. Adds gameplay time in a meaningful way. And they didn't really even have to do this to the Aurora. They could have just fucking left it as it was and then just moved on to other areas, but I guess they wanted to get this thing solid. Yeah, I guess it, it also depends on what kind of gamer you are. Like, I'm not the type of gamer that can sit and play Stardew Valley for, like, you know, 35 hours. Um, I was getting bored in Rust because the server was, like, really, really peaceful at one point, and nothing was happening. And, um, I'll, also, I'm pretty much... I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, so I'm gonna... I'm just gonna stop. Because it's, it's like, 4.30. I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna save... in here-ish. In here-ish. How about that? For vague statements. In here-ish. Um... 
I fucking loved Rust for a while. I liked building, and then when nothing was happening, I just wasn't, I, I don't know. I mean, there are some games like I can play to chill a little bit, but generally I like to have objectives in my games or a sense of progression that isn't nebulous at best. And, um, you know, I liked seeing the base get built in Subnautica. I liked seeing the Cyclops get built. I liked building the, um, uh, all the, all the things, <laughs> all of them, really. But in Rust, it was really easy to get bored because everything was peaceful and we were just... At one point, it's just like, well, I guess we're just gonna defend against wolves again. And I mean, we could raid, but I like everyone here. And it just turned into nothing. Just the occasional squabble here and there. And then my base would like fucking rot and, and just be ended. 1488, that's not the right one. Which, you know, a game like Rust, that's not really the purpose, necessarily. I think, uh... Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I do like games where you can make your own adventure. I like games... I like aspects of Spore. I didn't play a lot of it. I like Space Engine. But in short doses. Small doses. And it's fun to play Subnautica with new content, new updates. I think um, they did a really good job updating this game. Each time I play after an update, it's just better and better. So, yeah. Okay. I saved. I'm going to exit. Vine sauce. Do you think you'll get bored of Breath of the Wild? Yeah, maybe. Um, it depends. I would say Breath of the Wild is slightly different because, um, you know, it's a Zelda game. There's objectives. There's side quests. There's, um, you know, a story. There's a, a point. The world is massive, but it's not like choose your own adventure. You know, it, you can do that too, but I feel like there's also going to be guidelines where you can get in there and kind of go straight for the story, go straight for Ganon, or try to make Link as, as powerful as possible. Um, the thing is, I loved Skyrim and Oblivion, but inventory management killed it. I know Breath of the Wild has a more relaxed inventory system, and Breath of the Wild is another kind of... Like, when I think of uh, an inventory system, I think of, like, Bioshock, but a little bit deeper, and I'd be happy. So, not Fallout levels of inventory, and not Bioshock, somewhere in between, where I'm not spending most of my time in a menu, because I never found that fun. I thought it was fun in Resident Evil 4, because it was novel, where I got to place the items on a grid, but after that, I kind of got bored of it. Just my personal opinion. I know some people really like managing inventory stuff. It's like kind of a mini game in and of itself. But when it comes to Breath of the Wild, it looks like it's going to be an open world game that you can get lost in. You can do all kinds of shit, but also you can just beeline for the story, which I think will be good because I, I if I enjoy the gameplay, I will do lots of side quests like I did with Metal Gear Solid 5. But I also can see myself saying, all right, <laughs> getting bored. Gonna go fight Ganon now. Oh, boy. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be good. I think Breath of the Wild is going to be good. And I think uh, the potential to get bored is, of course, like any game. It's just dependent on the player. And it's dependent on how you're playing the game. Are you playing the side quests or the story? And it depends on what kind of game it is. Some games do really well at just um, letting you... Some games do a good job at just letting you get lost in the world without you necessarily having anything to do. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 